Apocalypse. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Creepers, and I'm here today to actually do something different. Okay, this is supposed not to be here. Legit. Let me just take this away from here. I know this is a bad start. Here we go. But we can put this here, right? Doesn't really matter. I don't play on the BC, <laughs> but still. Um, I'm actually here today to talk about this new little video here, the lore cinematic a realm divided. The reason why I talk, I want to talk about this, and I'm gonna put the volume a little bit down. I'm gonna talk about some things I see on the video, things that probably people didn't saw. There's things hidden on this video that are very cool and are related to the lore that we already know. So let's put the video on. And I'll talk to you guys during the video so we can understand a little bit of, of what's going on. Long ago, there was chaos and war. Until an order of magical warriors. So, powers. first things first, I want to stop right here. Oh, maybe just Unite one little bit. Uh, boom. So, I believe that these two are gonna be are gonna be new champions. Just because this little girl here, this little elf warrior she's gonna be the leader of the resistance and this one is gonna be the leader of the magistrate so right now they're fighting fi side by side because they want to you know they want to keep peace and the world and so they created what it was called Strike, the paladins sacrifice. they paladins did a lot of things saved you know now it's everything in peace so uh the magistrate decided okay we're going to dismantle the paladins um first things first this is sort of I gotta be honest, this is sort of almost the Overwatch story. Uh, peace was made, Overwatch, like the entire Overwatch uh, team was dismantled, you know, they, they were separated, they, the force was over, they finished it off, and later on they somehow like start, you know, to group up again because some things are bad. It's almost almost the same story. Not saying they stole the story, uh, I'm just saying it's very similar. This one here is, if I'm not mistaken, I probably have the name mistaken. It's Kron, Kron, Karn, Karn. I don't know. I don't know. But he's the leader of the the, the magistrate. He's a very powerful magician. He uses his, his weapon is like a bastion. You guys saw it like before. And this one uses a sword. But the sword is going to have a little twist. We're going to see that after. So no they had to stop the paladins, the and the magistrate. Yeah. They left the realm to the magistrate. Yeah, so they left it. The so this is a symbol of the bad. You know, believe I, I believe that the magistrate are bad. I'm not entirely sure if we're actually seeing the the saw the right the wrong side of the story, but uh, this is a symbol of the magistrate. This is the weapon that he uses. So I believe this is a, a new champ that is coming out. Coming out. I may be mistaken, but I believe that he is, and I believe he's a very powerful sorcerer. And what happened, uh, I'm, just, I'm just keep putting on and off. So they dismantled the paladins and these remain, you know, to keep the peace and basically to rule everybody and everything. Um, they were the magistrate, they were very powerful wizards from the paladins, uh, old paladins. Okay, so let's continue. Paladins and powerful magicians. Under their rule, the realm's golden age continued for centuries. Until a great and discovery. So everything was good until they found the crystals. The crystals that we see throughout the entire Paladins game. Even on the armors, the weapons, and etc. Like the weapon of Varric, etc. They discovered the energy of these crystals. And so they started, you know, to... A new form of Let's see here, this is Varric. I'm not entirely sure if this is actually a new champion. Or if this is just a well-detailed, you know, NPC on the background. He is an engineer and he's, you know, studying the crystals and he develops a lot of weapons crystals and things like I'm going to show right now. A crystal -powered so we have crystals of different the colors. The uses and here we see the first time um, the suit of Ruckus. Now, thing to it. This is not a war machine. As you can see, it has claws and etc. This is supposedly a mining machine and ruckus uses one of these machines okay there are several different like goblins like ruckus and they use this machine but his machine was broken he found a crystal on in the mine and that crystal was different from the one that we see here 
and that crystal was so strong that it actually gave life to a machine and so they called it bolt um the machine itself you know they went like they did like this sort of you know friendship between each other although they're constantly going against one another and the machine itself was you know later on uh, evolved with weapons and etc you know it was upgraded brighter than ever so everything was good until there's a twist and the there bad guys th there's not bad guys it's just people who exploited the Four crystals and this i believe that it's also a new champion sort of a wizard that uses a crystal this is probably going to be his weapon okay so this is uh, right here i tried to see if there's anything here there's nothing here but i believe this is going to be a new champion as they banished crystal magic such power was not meant to be wielded by commoners, Grand Magister Karn snarled. So, Karn. His name is Karn. He decided, okay, since there's been, like, problems, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all the crystals away. Because people are, are using the crystals in ways they shouldn't. And some people... Will destroy all that we have built. Right now, I'm gonna stop right here, because there's something really, really cool right here. This one here is Ash. You can see this is the flag, this is her hair, this is her arm. Then we got Sky in the back, which I'm gonna explain why she's dressed like, uh, dressed up like that. Uh, we got Victor Tyra Buck. Uh, this one I do not know who it is. I do not know if this is also like sort of an NPC or just a new champion that is coming out. This is Leon, and this one right here is definitely a new champion, and I'm gonna talk about him. I believe that he is the bodyguard of. Leon, you can see here there's like this sort of, you know, little wings on the right on her left arm. Guys, he has wings like plate armors, gold and etc. And it is said that Leon was, you know, summoned by the magistrate to help in the fights uh, because all the royal families were called and she came with her bodyguard and i still believe this this is his bodyguard we're gonna see him again he has two weapons one of them has like spears and the other one looks like a normal machine gun i don't still don't know um but karn here decided you know we're gonna stop people from having access from the crystals and we're gonna recover them all and we are gonna be the only ones to be able to use it okay and deliver us back to chaos oh uh, about sky sky is known to be um sort of the, she's from noble royalty something like that and she actually got a lot of training as an assassin so she's almost like a right arm to hear karn almost not i'm not entirely sure if it is or not but let's continue some agreed with karn they welcomed the return of peace or perhaps they feared the magistrate Other right here we saw <laughs> the victor was being put up like in the bad image but victor stayed on the magistrate's side and tyra it was like she was like having second doubts and yeah they're saying maybe victor just stayed there because he was scared um but right now we can see the elf she decided to go against okay she's ripping up the the symbol apart uh these two people are nobody this is nobody as well i mean there's people this is ying and Shaoling, okay, I believe that these guys are all together right here, and this is Fernando. Now, Fernando is right here, wearing one, using one of the, um, the horses we have, the mounts, and be attention, attention to this. Uh, Fernando is not actually a real knight, he's a self-appointed knight. The story goes that he's a normal person that works to a knight, the knight dies, he stays with his armor, he, you know, he self-appoints, he appoints himself as a knight, um, and decides, you know, to be, he has a secret, he's not really a knight, he was never appointed a knight through a king, through a, a prince, or nothing, he's, he says he's a knight, he did a lot of deeds, you know, to be known and etc, but he's never completely a knight. They stood up to the magistrate's new edict, they spoke of progress, and rallied behind Valera. A near immortal okay, warrior. so her name is Valera, and what basically she's saying is, we have a lot of uses for the crystals, okay? We can do a lot of good things with the crystals, in including improving our lives, you know? And she decided to go against the Magistrate. Here's a little twist here. You can see this, right? This map right here is, I believe, a little piece of Stonekeep, and... 
Remember the marg uh, magistrated archive, guys? It's all connected. Okay, so they are, are actually releasing the, um, the maps in co correlation, correlation with this the has story. The power to improve the lives of everyone in the realm. So, a power that should not just benefit the magistrate. There we go. Karn's forces. So, um, the magistrate Karn actually started being evil by re recovering all the crystals possible and, and stopping people from getting crystals and whoever was found with crystals would be, you know, locked up. So they are starting to be to like bad. To this is this is also like this reminds me of the ice maps and you can see here this is sort of in the North Pole and not, if I'm not mistaken because of the colors on on the top. A now we can actually see in Nara and Terminus and there's a, a relationship here. So against. you're probably thinking, wait, but we see a video like a few time ago where Terminus was attacking. Uh, both Cassie and Talus. Why? Well, right now he is good, but he's gonna be evil. And here's the weapon of Valera that has been weaponized with the crystals. So another thing that it's leading us to think that she's gonna be a new a new champion. Um, Barrick also went against the magistrate. He got tired of doing all the things he was doing, so he joined up forces with these people. They are actually, you know, fighting for their people. Uh, and you're gonna see that a little the bit after and right before. here on this little corner so we're gonna see Cassie crossbow the, no the reason why this is here is that she had she left her her family and etc to fight and she took her dad's longbow and as you probably saw in the gameplays and etc she used to have a longbow but then she started having a crossbow now I think they changed this because you know Shaolin had a a, a bow as well and they just wanted you know to be like no they're different but they decided to put that on the story you can see here her crossbow means that Barrick designed her crossbow he designed a lot of the things including the weapon for Valera only one possible outcome and they're saying okay there's gonna be war and we see here Terminus as you can see here is not broken it doesn't have a core and this is the little secret that I was trying to talk about. He's fighting on the, you know, the, the rebellion side. And he gets shot down in, in right in the place where he has the core. And we see that he's together with Inara. So I believe that somehow they were connected. They're both stone people. So they probably come from the same place. But I almost feel like he's somehow maybe the husband of Inara. I don't know. I don't know. Let, 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 let's just keep going. Who is he shot by? Ash. And there he is. <laughs> I told you guys that he was going to show up again. We see his armor and there you can see his left arm has a spear sort of weapon. And on the right side has a sort of a big ass pistol machine gun. I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. This guy's definitely going to be like a front line. I just feel like it. He's a bodyguard. Like, what What else could he be? And Ash here, she's not really evil, okay? She's just like, she's work, she works for the forces. Uh, she was called up, you know, to fight on their side. She's just doing, you know, she's going with the rules, with the laws and etc. She's going as she should go. And also, this weapon is called um, a cannon. As you guys know, that this is a cannon. She is known to be a machine gun, the machine gun, the, the heavy machine. I don't know the, the real name right now because she killed a lot. She fought a lot. She was one of the big ass, you know, front lines, guards, whatever you want to call them. And both her friends and foes called her a killing machine. Okay. And she is also known by experimenting a lot of heavy machinery. And this is her machine right now. Okay. And she killed Tala, uh, Terminus. And we see her, she being happy there. This is a symbol of a magistrate. This is a symbol of paladins. So we can see there's been a war here. And we see here Terminus being destroyed on the precise place where he has the crystal. And there's a reason for it. And we see here Inara is sad because he's dead. Which leads me to think that they were connected on that way. And she now wants revenge. Cassie here. Here's, here's the thing that I don't get. She's being, you know, she's being called by Tyra to join forces with Palins, but why? Why does she already has this? Technically she hasn't met Barricanet Sever, right? Unless there's like some 
hitting story behind this, they committed a huge mistake here as well, uh, just like they did on the trailer of the Battlegrounds. But, you know, let's keep going. We also see that Cassie here is doesn't have Strix, I don't know why. From across the, realm. the the story does say that she comes with Strix and the Longbow, so Great I don't get it. Willing to join the fight. See, this is the part where they, they are saying she, they're recruiting recruiting her to join the fight. So how does she has already that weapon? It's not normal. At Valera's urging, the and here we can see um, there's not really much we can see, but we see Yang, we see Shaolang, Inara joined the fight, Cassie joined the fight. Barrick was already here and Valera. Now, the video is gonna end here, so I just want to talk about Terramid a little bit. The story goes that he's... He, he, there's a there's actually a video where I start playing Terminus and you can hear him say, the magistrate commands, I follow. Something like that. Um, which means that he's working for the magistrate. And you're like, why? How? But he died. And how is this possible? So they use it, the black magic and the crystals to bring him back from the dead. And now he works for them. He works for the magistrate. And they cleans all of his memories. Everything. He doesn't know anything of his past. So in the future, we're definitely going to see him fighting Inara. Uh, because they're both stone people. And fortunately, you know, that's why also his ultimate is what it is. The crystal is binding him together. And sometimes you will see him when he doesn't use his ultimate. You see him, thank you. And he's actually saying, please, let me die. And he, when he uses his ultimate, he's also saying, please, no. You hear him say, please, don't bring me back to life. I don't want to fight against my people. So there's a lot of secrets here. If I miss anything, guys, you let me know, okay? And we're going to see here the symbol again. To restore peace to the realm. To usher in a new golden age. Will you join them, champion? And there it is, the end. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Um, but yeah, guys, that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I missed anything on this trailer, please do let me know, okay? I am studying this to the maximum possible. So I actually can share everything with you guys for those who don't have the patience to actually do that. And I know this is a very long video, but still, I'm breaking, out, breaking down everything on that video, including information that it's not there so you guys can know everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Creepers, and I will be releasing a video also of all the lore stories together. And probably I will wait a little bit, you know, just because I want to more information to come out so I can actually connect all of the little dots. And that video is probably going to be big, like half an hour or 20 minutes. I don't know. But I know that this video is already going through the 20 minutes, and I'm really sorry for you guys or watching so for so long but i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys on my next video my name is creepers and have a good day guys goodbye now